add on to back up his claim that more white people are killed by police officers than black people? Yeah, and I've already read out that data to you. I don't think we yes. followed it. I I've didn't. already read out that data to you, and you can go fact check on the Washington Post. Yes. Wait, wait, uh, two quick questions. First, Congressman uh, Steve Watkins of Kansas has been charged with three felonies in a voter fraud case. Uh, obviously, the president campaigned with him in 2018, and he's repeatedly uh, expressed concern with voter fraud. So does he have a reaction to that? Um, I've, that's the first time hearing of that. I haven't spoken to the president of it. Um, he does have very real concerns about voter fraud, um, and he's mentioned several of those. Um, and there's yet more information uh, that there is rampant voter fraud when you have mass mail-in voting. In 2016, as the president has noted, about 1 percent of absentee ballots nationwide were thrown out, and it could be much higher this year as many people vote by mail for the first time. That's one of the flaws with mass mail-in voting. Um, but beyond that, um, we've seen a a number of reports out of New Jersey have found a U.S. Postal Service vehicle that may have been carrying mail-in ballots that were that was caught on fire. This truck, uh, this was recent. Also, uh, in the New Jersey Star Ledger on June 22nd, this was very striking. 500 to 700 Republicans received ballots with all Democrat candidates. They were erroneous mail-in ballots that had been voided and then reissued. Uh, and the slate of candidates on these ballots was all Democrat, from Joe Biden down to dog catcher. And these were supposed to be Republican ballots. Those are three recent examples, and there are many more. A quick, a quick second question, Kaylee.